Say you want to promote a video. Like one of these. Drive, uh, yeah, drive views, something like this, right? Here's your video. So when you've created a campaign, this is what it actually looks like. So this is a, a video that somebody made for a song for my band, and I want to share it with people. I think it's really cool. You, you can set up these different campaigns. They're, they're single page landing pages. So for this one, it's playing a YouTube video, and as the YouTube video plays, you'll notice that it goes back and forth, you know, for links to follow my band on Spotify or on Facebook. There are also links up top to buy, you know, the album in question or to share it with your friends. It's pretty cool, and it's super easy to set up. So basically, all you would do when you're setting one of these up, there is a space where you would just you'd hit New and then just create a campaign. Um, for this one, it's, it's YouTube. And I'll show you what it looks like as we go through it. And you can kind of see how, you know, the, the things that you put down, how they translate to the actual page itself. Yeah, so on the right side of the screen here, we see the landing page that Rusty created. And on the left side, we can see the edit mode, like the, the options that he filled in to create that page. Right. The first page is always, what are you sharing? And what are you giving people for being there? So what's, what's the prize? What's the incentive, right? So for this, because it's literally just a YouTube video, give the link and then you give a personalized message. And then a conversion card. So you notice that you know, it flips back and forth here between Facebook and Spotify. There are all these other options that we can do too, like subscribing on YouTube or following on Twitter. They're called conversion cards because what you're trying to do is convert visitors into followers. Right. And then gating. Now here's an important part of this thing, right? Tell me all about this gate. All right, so basically what gating does is that it holds back the content that you want to share until the user completes a specific action, hmm. which is either give you their email address so you can add them to a mailing list that you're building up or get them to follow you on Spotify. Basically, the goal is to get people to watch your video and potentially follow you on uh, any of your social or creator profiles.